Okay. How y'all doing today? Um, <laughs> different start to the video. So, this video is a slightly different to my um, normal ones. Uh, you might be able to tell. <laughs> so, this is all recorded on my phone. And it's all right. <clears throat> I already record this. I'm just recording the commentary because I didn't. Uh, this is not a live commentary for this. So, what we're doing. What I'm trying to do is I am trying to get good at using the Cobra. Okay? So I'll try and commentate like on time. <laughs> I don't remember exactly everything that happened. Very still match you'll see that I did bring Cobra. And let's play with fire. With or I'm pretty sure most of the battles I did were played fire. So I can get it equal easier, but sometimes it made it a bit annoying because people try and go late game. And if that happened, well, you'll see what happened. But I always went for a two cobra start and set them on strong. And I tried to get, um,. I tried to get up both wired funds before the end of round one. If I couldn't, I still got up our funds on the second one. But as you can see, so we start off by getting our two wired funds and then we sent a 260 eco. And then I save up for my wizard, which I placed right at the end of the little, um, well, yeah, you know, guys know. And then, as you saw, so both Cobras for Lightning, and then I went ahead, got my Cobra, or one of my Cobras back. And then, we, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we didn't lose, well, we lost, we lost one life. So, I straight and got my two Cobras by round four, then I started ecoing a bit. Well, I started max ecoing. And as you can see, my opponent has two, I believe those are 1-1 one, one wizards, which surprised me. But I guess it defended pretty well. Uh, I went ahead and got that wired funds just before the end of round 4. So I could have for round 5. And you can see my powers I have knockout, jam packed, and um, pot boost. Now... Most of the time, I didn't actually use my powers, or at least didn't use them to their full abilities. And if I did, the, some of these games might have had a slightly different outcome. But that was fun. Still did pretty well. So, as you can see, round 7, I'm space equaling with black, so I already have a 4 wire fun, so I decide I'm going to go and place on my second wizard. Just to help defend, I'm going to get that guy up to a um, lightning, 2-0, uh, pretty quickly. So, we have, we're sitting on 4 wire funds right now. I eventually decide to get up more. Don't worry, I'll fix that. I'll just do that. Now we won't have to hear that sound anymore. Um, so I have five Cobras going to round nine. Opponent has two, um, two one wizards and a one one wizard, I believe. So round ten, we obviously have very good um, lead popping power with the wizards. I've leaked five more lives than my opponent has at this point. I'm just going ahead and getting down on my wizards. 
just to make sure I could defend around 13 rush fairly easily without having to do an insane amount of micro. If he sent me one, which he got up his third lightning and decides to just keep ecoing with yellows for the meantime. Which allows me to just keep getting up my cobras and cobra farm to the max. I have 511 eco, now 523. I decided to send the red there just to get my eco up a bit, just a bit be before the um, thing we got the eco. So now I'm just cover farming to the max. I decide that I want to do a rush, or at least I'm thinking about doing a rush. We actually do end up doing it, but at this point I had completely forgotten that I was play with fire. So I actually ended up having to sell uh, several of my Cobras, getting up two more Lightnings and use a Paw Boost against my own rush. So we both face Paw me because that was a stupid decision. I completely forgot that I was playing with Fire. He defended it easy, but I guess we did get to see that he had a Glue Storm. So I decided to keep the Wizards down and just keep on cover farming and but at this point it's round 18 so I decide to start getting up my balloon adjustments I do believe that this is the right call as you can see on my opponent's side he's going up against like camos, regens, before there were some ceramics and like regen ceramics all that so this is gonna make the early rounds like, well, 18, 20, 22, 23, 24, a lot harder for him. Which is obviously the entire point of balloon adjustment. And um, he's able to defend pretty easily because he's probably seen a nice amount of eco. And he has a pretty decent late game loadout with glue ninja wizard finishes to shred the like um zone g layer and whatnot and also blue jesus and with the glue and sabo stall it's just absolutely amazing so I never planned on going late game with my towers. As you can see, he's defending the balloon against the balloon adjustment very, very well. I decided um, I want to start attritioning him since I'm very low on lives from the rush I did to myself. So I go ahead and start doing that. And I actually learned something very interesting about attrition that I didn't know before this recording. Which you guys will see in a second. So he's over there defending very well with four Dragon's Breasts, four Flash Bombs, and a Bloom Salt, or Bloom Dissolver. Bloom, li Bloom Liquefier, that's what it's called. My headphones hate me. Okay, well, my headphones are going to be off for the rest of this recording since I don't want to turn back on. Okay, but... <laughs> um, so I'm just focusing on trying not to die to these rounds in the mid-game here. Now, when Moab starts to come out, it will be a big struggle because well, right now I only have lightnings. I'm focusing mainly on my Cobras to shred the zone G layer. So he already has all of his flash bombs up to Sabos, which for Sabos, if you didn't know, is all you actually need to have perma stall or have um, one of the sabotage abilities always active. You use one every 15 seconds, so let's say I use that eight. And then I use it again at A15, A30, A45, and then by 9, the one you used at 8 will be back up. So, just perma stall. 
so round 24. He decides that he's going to rush me, and he knew that, was, or he remembered that I was play of fire, so he um, sat before he sent them over, and I made a dumb decision of not, or a slightly dumb decision of knocking out that glue, because when I knocked it out, it had already glued both OMGs. Now, you can't see his second OMG because it's below the first one because the glue didn't glue it immediately. So I'm just trying my hardest to defend, as you can tell. I went ahead and got up some misdirections and some phoenixes, but I eventually decide that um, the phoenixes are focusing way too much on the BFBs instead of the other OMG. So I use a pop boost a bit late and it just isn't enough. If I had used the pop boost earlier, I might have defended it, but I ended up using it too late. So we say GG, and then we hop out and go on to the next battle. Which we did, we're kind of deciding what we want to go for, but we go back into play with fire and we find an opponent pretty quickly. He does not have my medallion, so I see this as a possible easy target. So you got Concrete Alley, which I was going to stick with. But ended up that he didn't like Concrete Alley. And skipping get space station, so I decide to actually roll a space station. I bring Wiz Cobra Attack. Um, if I can, there's attack. <laughs> so, get Super Monkey as bonus. I probably should have stuck with Ice for the stall, but I wasn't thinking properly. <laughs> so, we go ahead and hop in. I decide I want to place my Cobras on the left side. For some reason, I don't really know why. I, I completely forgot what was going through my head. So he places his wizard in a decent spot for intense magic, but when it comes to lightning, it's not the best spot. So I failed to get up my wired funds before the start of round two, so I spent those $400 on him, but I didn't get the $80 back. So we, oh I don't know if I said this before, but we always have our Cobra set to strong since they do two layers of damage. Then I go ahead and start egoing after I get down my attack shooter. And once I send that, I decide, oh, I guess it's good to go ahead and get a blade shooter. As you can see my opponent, going for a very weird strategy, he brought Spike Factory with his wizard. Not what I expected, and he's also not egoing. He sends over the crying face emoji. Which might be because of my um, Cobra. I don't know. Don't know what's going on in his head. Especially for him to place down a second spike factory and get a red hot spikes when it's only around 5. And we aren't going to be going up against Let's. And there's really no point of getting it unless he has the Ice Monkey. But he doesn't. He has Glue. So I figured I could um, probably out late game this guy. Now I sent pinks over by accident, meant to send over blues, misclicked. Bird of fame pretty well. I get up another 2 2 attack shooter so I can continue eat going with greens. But I actually decide to get up a third ward funds instead, uh, or a third ward funds. And a fourth wire funds instead of continuing my eco. Because they're sitting at 455, pretty nice. And at this point, I'm just gonna start cover farming, very nice. So we have five wire funds up now, going for my six, which we can afford right now, if I buy it. That's oh, right, I can drink a water. <laughs> So, my opponent went for a very weird strategy in the fact that 
he has two zero zero glue gunners, a two two monkey apprentice, I assume, and a two two spike factory and a two one spike factory, and then he gets a helicopter, so he's using his fourth. Uh, I don't know what his fourth was, I guess glue might have been his fourth. But I'm just cover farming like crazy at this point. I sold my spike or my attack shooters a little while back so I could get up my lightning. And I decided that 4 to 5 eat go pretty well or pretty good. So I just decided that I want to keep on cover farming. Now, he doesn't really do anything for round 13. No rushes, as you can see by right now. I kind of expected around 13 all up, but going off of this guy's medallion count, it didn't seem that he would know what good strategies were, and I could definitely tell that I didn't know what the meta or very good strategies were based on his medallion count. Now, the strategy I'm using is not the meta whatsoever. Meta on this map would be Cobra, Attack, Mortar, but I decided to go with just to help against the eco because it's play fire and opponents are probably gonna be ecoing in it. So I decide round 15, go ahead and I go ahead and start getting my blue adjustments. A start or as soon as round 16 hits, which are gonna be the blue adjustments are a massive problem for him. And as you can see, he's leaking a ton and he leaks down to 22 lives on round six, or from the balloons in round 16. Round 17 just has a few space camos, so nothing insanely difficult. But round 18, he's getting some ceramics, regen ceramics, camo ceramics, camo regen ceramics, and I just toss over destroy, a destroy, and he dies to the balloon adjustment. He's down 24 meds, and we got decent bit of keys, nothing insane. So I'll go ahead and hop into another play with fire match and sway for an opponent. <laughs> uh, I was watching YouTube the entire time this is going on. So yeah. Now it took me a Eh, not an insanely long time to find an opponent. A little bit longer than I would have wanted, though. And I find a guy. I see that he has the same prestige badge as me. So I figure we're on a pretty low playing field. We got Park, which I um, am very happy with. So I know that, um, like, Tac, Cobra, Wizard, or... Um, attack farm wizard very good on this map but of course I choose Cobra and I just toss over a high and a good luck and I'm gonna get myself a water so we both smile I smile because of the Cobra I don't know what he smiled because of or what why he smiled so I go ahead and get up I'm trying to figure out where I want to get my Cobra, so I end up getting it near the back part, just to um, stall a bit. I manage, because of us both stalling the first round slightly, I managed to get up both of our funds before the end of round one. So I go ahead and send over two sets of reds, and he's going for lots of eco, sending over tons of balloons, but it actually doesn't end very well for him, as you can see. So the ninja is, on is barely able to take care of the reds, and when the AI blues overlap with the reds, it's not very good. Now instead of just tanking the leaks, he actually ends up using the lightning bolts, which were off just a few seconds ago. But because I know that's only a 2-1, uh, I assume 
it was a 2-1. Uh, I decided to send Blues, forced him to upgrade that to a 3-1. And he still ends up using the Lightning Bolts, but he still leaks a lot of lives. So I already have my Blade Shooter and 3 Cobras. He got up his second ninja um, to help defend against the Blues when his Lightning Bolts is going on. He used an Eco Boost, which... Uh, I guess it makes a bit of sense. So going into round six, I sent over some pinks just so I can go ahead and get up my um, second attack shooter and to layer a bit with his greens. And the Cobras are, act are actually doing a great job right now. Since they're set to strong, they actually end up popping a lot of greens into Rebel Ins, and then the attack shooter is just playing up very nice. So us both sending greens, his two double shot ninjas are enough to defend, so he has to get another ninja and use his last lightning bolt, but he still ends up leaking lives. And he knows that since he's going to continue equaling and that and since that I'm probably gonna continue equaling, he has to get up his third double shot. He does this instead of going straight for Blue Jetsu for some reason. So I see them at 5 from Eco. So I decide that it's about time to start Go Revarming. And with round 9 with the yellows, it causes um, his ninjas to get distracted. And then he hit the ninjas actually end up getting uh, uh, slightly overwhelmed. So he sells his original double shot for a balloon jutsu. Then he ends up getting it or uh, his ninja back, just so he can get up flash bomb to defend against my regen leads. Which as you can see, so I could defend I just got a lightning wizard. So round 12, I go ahead and of course get camo detection on my lightning and I see that he has ice which really surprised me especially with his placement on the ice so he decides to go for a region rainbow all out which I had an easy defend against and he expected his ice shards to be able to deal with it but it doesn't end up in his favor and he ends up Losing and I take home the medallions this time and I throw over a face bomb because He was a ball hit. I thought he would have been better th than that honestly. I really did So he hopped back into um, Play of fire in the lead dungeon So we're about halfway through the video at this point. I think Let me check uh, just below halfway. So, if you are enjoying this video, uh, make sure to leave a like. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure to subscribe. Join my Discord server. Follow me on Twitch so you can see my live streams, Discord server, a lot of stuff in there. And yeah, so I see this opponent. I decided to check and see what that badge is. So, his name really kind of disturbed me. <laughs> Poop Flinger. So, yeah, but he has a million medallions, so I figure he's probably a pretty good opponent. So I go Wiz, Buccaneer, Cobra, and then I got Glue Bonus, and I decide to just get a drink of water. What else do I do? <laughs> so, of course, I go Cobra Start. He ends up um, stalling round one. Placing his wizard in the very, very back. I placed them fairly close to the front, but because of how the track works, I am still able to get up my two wire finds before the end of round one. And of course, it's his anti song. So he goes ahead and starts sending reds over. So I decide just to go ahead and get up my Buccaneer. Try and figure out where to place it. I decide to start with it here. And I keep it on first for a bit. And then I, once I got Grape Shot, I decide to 
target it to close so I can get that good spread. And then I get a faster shooting for round four because, well, play a fire, so he's obviously going to be ecoing. So I go ahead and start ecoing myself, which is definitely what I needed to do. And he has um, lightning on his wizard, so the eco's not going to be a, a problem at all for him until we get to like pinks and whatnot. So I decide to sell my buccaneer for a lightning wizard. Which worked pretty well, but not as good as I expected it to. So I went ahead and decided to get up third cover, but I couldn't figure out where to place it, so I just placed it up there. And of course, I got up our funds. I'm at 300 eco, so I decided to get up a few or those two wired funds, and then call it quits for right now. So I go ahead and continue the max eco train. I get up to 350 eco, and then I decide to place down uh, more cobras, of course. What else do I do? Gotta love the cobras. Gotta love them. So I decide to go ahead and place down Buccaneer. Get to grape shot and set it on close, which I don't know if you saw me set it on close, but I actually did. And I got a faster shooting. So he uses eco amplifi amplifier, which I guess it makes sense, honestly. He's got a good bit of eco at this point. He has much more eco than I do. So I decide round eight, I go ahead and start the space eco. So I see that he has village. And at this point, I'm kind of surprised. I'm, I was very surprised to see that he had village. But I guess if we're trying to go late, it makes sense. So we did, we figure out that he has lightning bolts as a power. Not the biggest need to use it right there. Um, since he's sitting on 150 lives and it could have just leaked a bit. As you can see, I haven't been caring too too much about my lives. I mean, I have a hundred four, so I don't like too much, but haven't been caring as much about my lives as he has. So I went ahead and got up a glue gunner and rare scanner on his village, which is pretty good, especially since he sees that I have Cobra and knows about balloon adjustments and knows. That without radar scanner, it's going to be slightly difficult because this glue won't be able to see those camo regen ceramics and camo regen rainbows and camo ceramics and camo rainbows. So, or it's round 14. I decide that this is when I decide what round I'm going to start bloom adjusting him. So it goes for a lots of glue gunners, which surprised me a lot. I'm sitting on 400 eco, so I decided to call it quits. I decided to go ahead and get my fourth wizard. Well, I contemplate doing it. But I actually end up getting up a bug in here. And then... Uh, keep getting my Cobra, so now I start the balloon adjustment process and it's round 16. As you can see, by size going up against rainbows, camo, zebras, regen zebras, and stuff like that. So, round 17, not a difficult round, not a good round for balloon adjustment at all, honestly. Because all it has is just spaced camo yellows. But one of the camo yellows actually got upgraded to a camo ceramic. So that was pretty nice. But round 18, great. It's a very, very nice round for the blue dress. As you can see, he's going up against camo rainbows, camo ceramics, camo region zebras. And look at all these camo ceramics, region ceramics. Look at all this. Look at it. So he has three blue liquefiers and a dragon's breath and a normal lightning. 
So he's gonna be absolutely fine against the Blue Adjustment. Which wasn't very good for me. <laughs> Not at all. Because those Look of Fires or the Dragon's Breath can just shred the ceramic layer and everything below. So I decided to keep on Cobra farming actually. Might be surprising to you, but that's actually what I do end up doing. Just so I can get some more money flowing in. Because, yeah. Not looking too good on Eco. I mean, he's already over 3k Eco easily. Probably over 5k, honestly. So he's ready to go late game. He gets at the Monkey Town. And then, of course, he's going to be getting so, so much more ego. And in a little bit is when I start to figure out, or in a little bit is when I figure out that I'm screwed. I mean, I already was assuming that I was pretty screwed at this point. But then I saw his fourth tower. And I was not happy in the slightest because, as you can see, I don't have any real light game towers. I mean, I could use Phoenix to destroy his own G's and then Boat Pole, BFBs, but I don't have much money. I don't have much eco. I'm not sitting in a good position. So, um, I check and see what balloons I send. I could have guessed by the round number, but yeah. So it's round 23, so I know that there are ceramics coming out. So I go ahead and get the uh, Dragon's Breath just in case the um, Cobras can't pop all the ceramic layers. As you can see by my, opponent, uh, my opponent's side, he's going up against a bunch of Camarillas and ceramics and whatnot. But then you see this. He's got Tech Terror, and this is when I realize I'm screwed. There's nothing I can do at this point. He has out to me so much that I just decide to sell my towers with Turtle Micro and Call it Quits. I move on to the next round. So I take an L there, but. I mean, I should have expected to face more late game opponents since it's play with fire. So I check and see what all game modes we have. Then I just hop into a dungeon again. And when I go up against this guy, and I see that it's a low medallion count, so I figure, like last time I faced an opponent with a low medallion count, this is my chance. And we get Park, which is a pretty good map for our strategy. As you can see, I haven't really used my powers at this point, which definitely isn't the play. I should have been using them much more often, but I wasn't thinking very well. So I decide to actually play some Cobra in a slightly different spot this time. I place it in the very center instead of closer to the back. And he places Cobra closer to the bat, or it's not Cobra Ninja. And I'm able to get up my 2R funds before the end of round 2, well I would have been able to. But, uh, I'm stupid and after round 2 hit I got my R funds because I was taking a drink of water. Which I'm about to do right now. So, I send um, to 260 ego, and I decide, time to go ahead and get up, ooh, voice crack, I decide, it's time to go ahead and get my blade shooter, as you can see right there, and then I decide to eco a bit more, but then I see that he's sending things, and I realize that I can probably take advantage of this. By layering slightly, I could put pinks over the top 
and get a lot, a lot of lives on him. So he uses a big balloon beatdown, which is stupid. <laughs> Very stupid. So I go ahead and face palm him. Because big balloon beatdown is not going to do apps anything. And he ends up dying round five to blues. I knew that he was a uh, bot, but I didn't expect him to be that big of a bot. So I take the keys and move on to the next game. Which I decide, well, what do I have? Oh, let's go check out the clans, shall we? See how we're doing. I see that I have someone wanting into the clan, so I go ahead and prove him. And as you can see, we're fourth right now, which is insanely good, but it's not bad either. We have 2.6k keys, so we're not doing too bad. I just scroll through and see the who, what some of the top clans are, and then I get very sad when I see BTD YouTubers. <laughs> oh. So I go ahead and hop in and see what car balance we have, but we didn't have anything that I wanted to play, no Bonanza. So I thought, oh, what do I, s okay, I thought I'd check the assault room, so I'm stupid. <laughs> I saw back into the battle arenas, play with fire. And I see this guy. I figure, oh, I can probably beat this guy. I get Treasure Hunt, which I was 100% down to do. I bring Wiz Boat. Oh, Wiz Boat Cobra. And then I go and look at what eco powers I, or what powers I have. And think, uh, do I want to switch them up or no? So then I go ahead and toss my high and a good luck. So I try and figure out where I'm gonna place my cobra, and when I see that he has cobra as well, I get really excited. I'm like, oh my. We're gonna get some cobra versus cobra action. I wonder if he's good. And then I see that I guess at that double tap, and I'm like, bot, <laughs> bot. So I go ahead and send some balloons over. We have our two cobras, both with water funds. I go ahead and decide to place some buccaneer. I keep him on first for a bit, then I go ahead and switch it to close. And then I get up Grape Shot as soon as I can, and we um, barely lose any lives to that. I only lost 12 lives. Very nice. He lost a lot more than 12 lives, as you can see. He lost 36. And I think that's because he went for a wizard instead of like a boat. But I don't actually remember if he brought the boat. Yeah. So, I decide to lair and actually start using my powers. I knock out his wizard because I know that that's his main swarm damager. And it goes ahead and gets up lightning. But because of the knockout, we get the victory. So, yeah. I am... <laughs> laughing a lot after that battle that was very nice so we keep going, going up against opponents that have like only a few hundred meds which is pretty good for me so we get industrial zone which I don't like at all I really hate industrial zone so you go ahead and start talking to him like, hi, good luck, you know, thumbs up, but it's industrial zone, 
and I see that he raised up, and I'm like, nope, I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip it. So yeah, Ghostly Coast. And I didn't know exactly what I want to do here. So instead of going for Buccaneer, I actually bring this sub. I know. I bring this sub. And I figure if this goes late game, um, we can uh, first strike micro. So I go ahead and start with Cobras. And he starts with a Buccaneer. And uh, not the best spot, but a decent spot. So I get my two Cobras, I'm gonna go. Okay. We managed to get one water funds for the other round. And we got that $80, but I actually end up having to get my, my sub. I sell both of my Cobras so I can afford the Air Bears before I leak an insane amount of lives. Which I think was definitely the play there. So he has up a Grape Shot and a 0, zero Buccaneer. Surprisingly, I went for a 0, zero instead of getting up a 1-1. One, one. But... I was fine with it. I mean... It's his fault. If he starts leaking this early because of that. I guess I have a second grape shot. Yet again instead of going for faster shooting. And I'm staying very nice right now with my Everest and my Wired Funds. So I decided we can start egoing. And to go ahead and get up a second Cobra and Wired Funds. I've seen a lot of people using Lightning Bolts. But he... I don't know how many lives he would have leaked there. But I don't know if it was actually worth it to do that. Might have been, might not have been. So I go ahead and decide, well, greens, this airburst, can't defend him. So I go ahead and get this bolt in the back. Which, yeah, was my bonus tower, or my fourth. Which I don't like, I mean... Instead of that, I could have gone up a lightning wizard. But... I was just so annoyed at this point. So, yeah. I go ahead and max eco through here until I get to 504. Which then I figure, oh, probably about time to get up some more cobras. So I placed that one in a bad spot, so I'm selling it and buying a new one. And he's still equaling. He has his two zero one Buccaneers with a... I assume that's a 2-2. Two, two, actually, that might be a 2-0 wizard. No, it's a 2-2 two, two wizard. Well, it's at least a 2-1 wizard. Possibly a 2-2. Two, two. So, round 10... We both will I end up getting my wizard for the lead popping power. So at this point I decide I don't know a good tower to get up is which I struggle to figure out where I can actually place. A reactor. Because that's the entire reason I brought the sub for this reactor spot, so I just Sell my Spolt and my Wizard. Well, I sell my Airburst and my Wizard. Keep my Spolt. And sit with the Reactor. And with the Reactor, I'm chilling pretty well. So I decided to go and start color farming. He does have a Dragon's Breath. But I could have, honestly, at this point, I could have killed him. To, or at least made a Force Defense with just whites, just round 11 whites, just back and forth and back and forth. Maybe some zebras mixed in there. And we should be able to defend it very nice. But then I do something uh, debatable whether it's very good or not. I jam pack leads, which of course, not gonna do anything on my side, doesn't do anything on his side either. Um, I would have went for a bigger rush, but I was too scared that I would die. 
It's round 17, round 18, right around the corner. So I go ahead and get up my balloon adjustments. Well, I start getting them up at least. We still have one jam packed and all our knockouts and pop boosts. It's so around 18 hits, and because of that balloon adjustment, he is starting to struggle. But he gets up in Apache, and this is where I'm like, oh gosh, no. <sighs> oh gosh, no. So what I end up doing is I sell all my Cobras, because I'm sad. And I think Roll and I decide, well, we're going late game. We are going late game. So, I go ahead and get up that Drown's Breast and start egoing. Nothing else I can really do unless I want to forfeit. But I don't really want to surrender. As you saw last time, I just sold them on towers. And that was it. We lost. GG's. GG's. Light game. Oh, late game, I hate it. Honestly. So I hop into another um, match here. So, um, this one isn't actually play fire, it's what wasteland. Um, so it's just free power ups. He ends up Skipping interchange, which I didn't really like. Swan Lake, I was like, this is my map, buddy. This is my map. <laughs> so I go ahead and bring Boat Cobra Boomer. And I didn't really want the sub as my bonus since I have the boat. And I go ahead and start replacing my Cobras on these little ledges here. He goes for a very interesting sub spot, one that I've never really seen before. I guess it's not really that bad. You'll see where I end up placing my Buccaneer Dice say sub spot. I meant boat spot. Um, so I end up not being able to afford the wire funds before the start of round two. But because I'm a bot, I actually end up getting wire funds anyways. Sent 255 eco. Um, I'm worried that my phone's gonna die. I'm gonna place my Buccaneer right here. And I keep on first for a bit, and then my target's close. Go and get a grape shot, and then we have an easy defend. And we only leak down to 69 lives. Nice. <laughs> uh, very, very nice. So, he's still saying at uh, all 150. He's probably got more eco than us as well. Uh, yet again, like that last opponent, gets up a second grape shot instead of going straight for faster shooting. Which, I go straight for faster shooting. I decide, might as well get up some more Cobras, since he's not sending anything. Then we go back to sending. Uh, he's leaked one life so far. Around six, I decide time to get more cover. So I see that he is a apprentice, and kind of surprised, honestly. And then I see the glue, and I'm like, "What is this guy doing? <laughs> what in the world is this guy doing?" So I get my five cobras and start echoing with greens. Um. I'm not saying too gone eco. I'd like to be closer to 400 at this point. But, you know, we're fine. I go ahead and play, or I go ahead and decide where I'm gonna place my next sub when I need it. But I decide. Might as well just get more Cobras. I haven't shown any of my powers yet, so he sends over the yellows. Just want to decide, time to place my second Buccaneer. And I keep this going first, since it's not close to any parts of the track, no real reason. 
for it to be on close. And I'm sitting on three lives. And this is when I realize... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta keep an eye and make sure I don't leak anything. So I go ahead and get up my bio boomer because I am worried out of my mind. Get both of them to crow's nest and that um and that one to lock hands. And I actually end up just going for a rush here. Look, just just um a few jam packed camo region uh, ceramics and then I knock out his wizard and there's nothing he can do. GG's. And we win that battle. And that's the last battle of the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And uh, what else? Like I said earlier, make sure to join my Discord server to get updates on when I stream, when I upload videos, why I haven't uploaded a video, why I haven't streamed, things like that. Make sure to follow me on Twitch, which I've had problems with recently. My username got changed somehow, working on fixing it. Um, yeah, so my Twitch link might not actually be in the description. Tisk, tisk, tisk. But anyways, see you guys in the next one. Bye. Three life clutch.